This episode is sponsored in part by Lucky Duck Games. Check out their current crowdfunding campaign for Once Upon a Line. Thank you for joining me here at Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. Today we're talking about board games launching on crowdfunding campaigns, mainly Kickstarter. I've got two that I know are launching on GameFound. None are launching on BackerKit that I know of. They'll be launching the first half of February 2023. These first few launch on February 7th. This one's on Kickstarter, Blueprints of Mad King Ludwig from Bezier Games. This is a flip and sketch strategy game in the universe of Mad King Ludwig. You'll be drafting room cards, drawing them on your own player sheet, earning bonuses and rewards along the way, for as the most points at the end of the game will win. You can check out a full playthrough and overview on our channel, coming soon. Maestro Media launches Sally Face Strange Nightmares, a game for one to four players. Strange occurrences are happening at Addison Apartments. Explore the apartments as Sal and his friends work together to investigate the surrounding mysteries. On GameFound, Fat Board Games launches State Terra, a game for 1-4 to four players. It takes about 30 to 150 minutes to play. This is a double asymmetric strategy game. Its stories give players a lot of replayability and modular game map with new experiences for each game. You become a leader of State Terra Nation. Each story tells a tale from the land of State Terra, and through that defines the number of players, unique victory conditions, setup, and some small rural adjustments. Also in GameFound, Storm Dragons from Dragon Phoenix Games launches. It's an expansion to Storm Dragons, I should say, called Dragon Trappings. It will introduce a whole new type of card, items that you can attach to your dragons to make them even more formidable. The rest of these are on Kickstarter. Stoneblade Entertainment launches Ascension Tactics Inferno. It's a standalone expansion to the base game. It includes all your favorite gameplay mechanics, but some new features, a new faction, quests, and a co-op mode. This way, games launches Founders, be a cryo-architect master who builds the city of ice. It's for 3 to 6 players, takes about 25 to 35 minutes to play. Rock Matter Games launches Set a Watch Forsaken Isles, lighting the fire and surviving the night with your band of adventurers. For 1 to 4 players, it takes about 60 to 90 minutes to play. This is a continuation of the Set a Watch series. Drill Bit Dwarves from Zero Rift is for 1 to 8 players, takes about 30 to 90 minutes to play. It's a card-driven competition featuring drilling, bartering, deck building, and sabotage. BoardGameTables.com, which has now changed its name to All Play, is launching a campaign for four games called Chomp, Couture, Mindspace, and Sail. On February 8th, Oom launches Stone Saga for one to four players. It takes about one to two hours to play. This is a co-op survival crafting board game. You unfold the epoch-spanning story of the people of a remote glacial valley, guiding multiple generations of characters who make a life there amidst harsh conditions, wondrous mysteries, and giant monsters. This is actually a campaign-type game. Board Games launches the Horror Game Show on February 14th. It's a game for two to four players. It takes about two to three hours to play. I believe middle of February, Pecta Studio launches Wonderlust for two to five players. It takes about 40 to 100 minutes to play efficiently plan trips to see more of the world than your opponents. 